Daniel chapter 10, verse 11. And he said unto me, now this is Jesus Christ. We looked at that last night. Daniel is talking to Jesus Christ before he was born, the eternal God. Old Daniel, a man greatly beloved. Now, John chapter 9. John chapter 9, verse 23. And it's not correct. Well, Daniel is called Beloved. The Father speaks of Jesus Christ as Beloved. The Apostle John, the disciple of John, is called the Beloved Disciple. So we're running Daniel into the New Testament, and the New Testament into the Old Testament. You know, a lot of what Paul said you find back in the Old Testament is the Scripture. All, all the different uh, prophets. He doesn't just pick the main prophets. Understand the words that I speak unto thee. That's almost the book of Proverbs, the reason Proverbs, to understand. And stand upright. So evidently he stew on his hands and knees, verse 10. Or at least kneeling. For unto thee am I now sent. The purpose of Jesus Christ, and it's funny because we say, you know, Jesus Christ left the throne, was born in Bethlehem, in 33 and a half years, he suffered and died on Calvary, was buried, rose again from the dead. That's true. But as the angel of the Lord, he also came down and visited men and people. And when he has spoken this word, I stood trembling. That's what a lot of people are going to find out who didn't believe in Jesus. One day, they're going to, they're going to, at the great white throne judgment, they're going to be trembling at the Jesus Christ they didn't know. The wrong Jesus Christ that they should have known. The Jesus Christ that they cussed. The Jesus Christ that's innocent and they be guilty. Listen, even us Christians at the, at the judgment seat of Christ, we're going to be trembling. I feel sorry for the Christian at the judgment seat of Christ saved and all that and everything was a waste because I like it or I want to have fun or I don't care to know whatever the excuse is. I can imagine the Christian who's got all ashes. There he is standing before Jesus trembling. Well, what's he going to say? What's he going to do? I can't lose my soul, but then said he unto me, Again, Jesus. Fear not. Now, Jesus in the gospel, seven times it is recorded that he said, fear not. I know people on Facebook can't see this, but on the video, you watch here what I'm going to do. Quotations. Fear not. Quotations. I'm going to do a search. I must have over. I need to Okay. Fear not. Have you ever heard someone say, I have? Well, you know, fear not in the Bible. 365 times the expression fear not is in the Bible. For the 365 times it is in a year. Every day there's a fear not. All right, here it is. King James 1611. Bible. This doesn't even go for your modern Bibles anyway, either. There are 63 fear not. And there are 63 verses to the 63 times it comes up. And each of these, there is no verse that contains two fear not. 48 verses in the Old Testament, New Testament, 15 verses. Now you can, if you can see the video, here it is. This is fear not. 
You see, I don't take a fool when he speaks and spread the foolish talk. When a man in a podium, teacher, pastor, preacher, whoever it is, I go and check them out. And I've heard several times, and the last time I heard, oh, 360, I mean, guy doesn't know I mean, King James, 365 times in the Bible is figuring out. I went and checked it out. There it is. If you got the video, go look at the video. People on Facebook, go to the video. There it is. Fear not 63 times. You're wrong. Now, I want you to apologize to the congregation. I want you to apologize that you were wrong. I want you to apologize that you took what a fool said and you copied what the fool has said. Now, who is more foolish? The one that has foolishly said or the one that copies the fool? I wrote that on my Facebook wall today. You're wrong. You didn't check it out. I did. Fear not, Daniel. Like I said, Jesus said that seven times. Seven is the number of complete. From the first day thou didst set thy heart to understand. This is all the praise. Even the times that not recording what Daniel did. Daniel had these visions and he sought God, not man. Nebuchadnezzar had dreams. Belshazzar had the handwriting on the wall. And they went running to the magicians and all the other idiots. Finally, they went to God and, and a man of God. And to chasten thyself before thy God. He put himself to fasting. He put himself to sackcloth. He put him, I am not going to do that. I am not going to do this. I am going to do this because I want this prayer to be answered. The church today, they don't want to understand. They won't chasten themselves. Not in this prosperity gospel preaching. Thy words were heard. Right, thy words were heard from the first day. Well, why didn't God answer them the first day? Because sometimes God doesn't. And we'll see another reason in a moment. I am. God said to Moses, you tell them I am that I am. Jesus Christ is said to say, I am. That's what made this, the religious leaders very irate. Because when he said, I am, they know exactly what he was saying. And when Jesus said, I am, 99 times, and you go to your concordance, I did, and you check that number out. Okay. Search. If you can watch the video, words of Christ in red. Quotation, I am, quotation, result map, 99 times in 93 verses. See, I'm going to show you. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts, and Revelation. So you can go say, hey, you know, Stiley said 99 times Jesus said I am, and he gave us the documented proof. Not like my preacher, my co-preacher, oh, well, you know, 365 days, it sounds good to me. You're wrong. Unless you repent of your wrongness, you're going to stand before Jesus one day. And that style of hatred that you hate because he's so right and he's so broad and he kicks you in the shin and he uses his sword. He, I'm going to be up in heaven saying, yes, that's right. You were wrong. Why wouldn't you listen? Now, who's the fool? I show you, Doc. I know you can't see it on Facebook. If you go to the video, you'll see it. All right. Now, we're not going to get into it. I'm going to lay the foundation because this is some real meat. A lot of people ain't ready for this meat. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia, which stood one and twenty days. 
from the first day thou set to pray, 21 days this king is prince of Persia, and we don't know when it started. It could have been a week, it could have been two weeks, it could have been three seconds after Daniel sought the Lord, but there are 21 days that Jesus was withstood. Remember, it's Jesus speaking. But who is this prince of the kingdom of Persia that has this power to prevent Jesus? Ezekiel 28. Maybe one verse or two verses. This is deep stuff that because of your carnality of your church, you don't know. Verse 12, 28-12 20, Ezekiel. Upon the king of Tyrus, Verse 13, thou hast been in the Eden, the garden of God. Go back and you get Ezekiel 28 video. 28.14, he's the anointed cherub. That's not the king of Tyrus. It's a spiritual being behind the king of Tyrus. The spiritual being is Satan himself. Go find on my website, Ezekiel 28, and we went into that. We're talking about Satan. Satan, when talking to the king of Tyrus, Satan is being addressed. One day, Jesus and the disciples are going, and he says, I'm going to die, something to that, something to that fact. And Peter says, and loving the Lord, no, 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 that's not going to happen. I'm not quoting for man. And Jesus stops and turns to him and says, depart from me, Satan. He addresses Satan through Peter. So when we're back over here in Daniel, this prince, you remember the other night we talked about there was a prince, the Messiah, and then there was the prince of this world? Here's the prince of the kingdom of Persia, and you'll find Paul speaking about powers and principata principalities in high places, this is the spirit realm of Satan and his fallen angels and his devil. Listen, Satan is forever trying to stop God's work. One day at, at, the, at the funeral of, of Moses, Satan shows up. Michael said, hey, listen, I, I got no power over you right now. The Lord rebuked me. Jesus is coming on 30 years old and Satan shows up and tempts him three times and for the entire life of Jesus you can see Satan coming up through the people through the, the, the religious people through the events trying to stop Jesus going to the cross Daniel has a prayer this prayer results in revelation this results in the children of Israel in a future even still future for us and Satan does not want the people he wants them ignorant and when your church is ignorant of the Bible, and your church does not have the King James Bible, the leadership of your church, you say, I say it, it's true, is of Satan. Because Satan doesn't want you to know. We just read Jesus telling Daniel, I am sent here for you to understand. And the prince stands up and says, oh no you're not. Lo, Michael, one of your chief princes, all right, now Michael later on, or, or, or as it said, Michael's coming up. It, it's going to name him as the Archangel. Michael, we're going to find out, if we haven't found out er, earlier in Daniel, I forget. Michael's the Archangel over the children of Israel. The children of Angel has one angel, and that is the only Archangel listed in the Bible. But here he's also listed as the chief princess. There's different rank and order of the angels. Evidently, in the realm of angels, there are other princesses, chief princes. I mean, there's angels by the angels of angels of angels. Came to help me, not me, is Jesus. Jesus is not going to throw his weight around and conquer any Gentile before the time of the Father has him to do it. And that time is when he comes back on, on horseback. 
God could have wiped out Persia. He wiped out Sodom and Gomorrah, but it ain't the time. We are in a, a big, deep well of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding here. There is so much meat. There is so much bread. There's so much milk. There's so much in Daniel. And as I've said through the book, oh, we know about the three Hebrew children. We know about Daniel the lion. And I dare to be a Daniel. Are you called beloved in heaven? Right now, besides your name being the Lamb's Book of Life, is your name spoken about in heaven? Daniel was. There are Christians, and there have been Christians. At the moment they get up in the morning, the alarm clocks in hell wake up. And they got, hey, we got to get going. We got to get going. We can't leave that guy alone. Because that guy, when he gets going, he starts decreasing the population of hell. That sower went out and sowed the seed, and there is the birds, and there is Satan and his devils trying to stop what you're working. Even I, the devil's in hell. Uh-oh, he's going to the farmer's market. Oh, he's going to... We, we had the other day, we went to Walmart, and we put gospel tracks in the next bag before we leave. woman came and said, Oh, I haven't seen you guys in a while. By the way, you forgot this bag. Yeah, she knew what was in that bag, and she knew what we do. She's a she's a bird of Satan. You can't get that gospel track to the next person. Satan got his hands in. Uh, he's at Walmart. I, I forgot what we had to buy and stuff like that. He, 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 you give him the opportunity. He's going to hand that gospel track to his daughter. They're going to put it next. Hey, get that bird over there. Because if the ne that next shopper that gets that bag will probably believe on you get that bird over, you hand that bag back to him. Satan got his devil. Oh, you dare to aim the, the devils in hell. I'm out there witnessing. I've seen those devils. I have been talking to people and I've seen the devils come up and that guy just get disinterested in other things. And this is what's going on right now. Daniel is to be given information about godly things. And up pops, I'm going to say the prince of the kingdom of Christ. I'm going to say one of the devils, I don't know if the devil. I don't think the devil can be in every place and every time. I think he's got to use the devil. But up, and it withstands Jesus. Now, I'm not limiting the power of Jesus. But let me ask you a question. Don't you think when, when he's hungry for 40 days and 40 nights, that was, come on, make you draw bread. Don't you think that, they, that Jesus would have the power to say, all right, go to hell. Imagine, imagine Jesus getting mad and tell, go to hell. He would have been right hell right there. The one that said, let there be the sun, let there be the moon, let there be light, let there be kangaroo, go to hell. Satan would have been in hell right away. Why didn't it happen? Because it's not time. I'm not saying Jesus is defenseless. I'm not saying Jesus is weak. But it is not time. The American government, there's a devil following. Don't you tell me the power of God and God bless America with abortions and this tra this transgender and all this nonsense and legalizing marijuana on the federal level. You tell me that there is a devil behind Washington, D.C. I don't care if it's Republican. I don't care if it's a Democrat. I don't care if it's a Democrat. I don't care if it's Republican. There's a devil behind the United States of America. There's a devil behind Russia. There's a devil behind Ukraine. There's a devil behind England. Very few countries today will take the stand of the Bible and God to have God's protection. You know what's protecting America today? is the very few Christians that are praying and trying to do the work. And that one person who's not ready, not time yet for to get saved, in that moment, I, I believe that person gets saved. I believe God's going to give him the opportunity to tell someone else about Jesus 
whether they get saved or not, to give him the opportunity. Listen, you don't have to win crown. You don't have to win a soul to get a crown. You just go and tell them, that's a crown. If that man gets saved. He turns and says, hey, I got saved. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Dun, dun, dun. That guy get a reward. That guy was only in the field for one hour, and he still gets his penny. And some of you Christians, oh, what did that mean? And it's funny, when you read that parable, they're, they're older Christians, oh, he's only in here for an hour. What kind of attitude is there in heaven? Especially among the Baptists. Well, I didn't like him, Jesus. He kicked my star. He kept saying, what would Jesus do with toilet paper? And Je <laughs> all right, let's roam all of heaven. Find me, the, find me the bathrooms in heaven. I didn't need toilet paper. He was right. He realize it's going to be an enticing moment that the very few that are in the King James, those that preach and teach the word properly to those that don't, How many friends did Paul have at his death? You can name them at least on both hands. That's it. Have I become your enemy because I told you the truth? So 21 days a minimum. <laughs> Here comes the answer. I'm praying for a wife and God's like, I got the perfect woman for you. All right, Lord. But the devil's stopping her. What do you mean? She won't listen to me. That's the kind of woman I got for you. She's not even listening to me. Oh, Lord, thank you. Maybe it's me. Maybe there's a woman out there praying for me. And, she, and God's like, I'm stupid. I don't know, how, Lord. You want me to go somewhere? What? You want me to say something? No. You see what happens? Well, why won't my mother get saved? Why won't my husband get saved? Why won't my children get saved? Why don't you get out there and go preach and tell people the gospel? Maybe you out there go in the field. God will say, okay, you take care of those fields. I'll send somebody to take care of your fields. Be not deceived. God's not mocked. When so a man soweth that he shall also reap. Don't you think, I don't know what they preach in these, these luxury churches on that, but 21 days for a prayer. A man that is beloved in heaven, 21 days by Jesus Christ himself, stopped by the, by the devils, if not maybe the devil, well actually he says, yeah, prince, that could be the devil. The Bible says, well, I think Paul says he's the, the prince of this world. That could be the devil himself. Came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. <laughs> Think about that in your prayer life. You don't know what's going on. Maybe God's preparing you for that. You're not ready for that. And that's, listen, it's hard for me to. I'm impatient. Everybody says I'm young, I'm 54, something like that. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm, I'm at the end of my life. I finally like got a heart condition, this line. God's like, Phew. brother, you got lung. I believe the rapture's going to happen, but I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know. It would That'd be great tonight. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people, Jews, Hebrews, Judah, not Gentiles. In the latter days, pay attention. Remember the end, the end, the end, the end, the end. So these days are looking to the tribulation period. This is looking after the church age. After Revelation chapter, I would say, 5. When those horsemen start showing up. For yet the vision is for many days. Oh, you know how many days has been since Daniel wrote this? You know why? Because our God one day is a thousand years and a thousand years one day. Come on, God, hurry up. You kidding me? It's only been two days. Lord, it's been my lifetime. Calm down. Relax. No. I tell God, no. I'm down here at Daytona Beach. I'm like, Lord, I keep getting red lights. I know, I'm trying to work on you. I'm getting mad. That's what I'm getting. 
I've had three straight weeks of red lights. Patience. Many days. And when he had spoken such words unto me, I set my face toward the ground. Back down he goes. And became dumb. That means he can't speak. That don't mean go. That means he can't speak. Is, is that now? I'm not calling Daniel and I'm saying men, but is that how they're gonna be at the Great White Throne Judgment? Is that how all us, 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 prideful Baptists, us, me? Is that how we're gonna be at the judgment seat? We're not gonna. We can't open our mouth. The worst thing you want to do is speak in a courtroom and the judge has not given you permission to speak. And behold, one like the similitude, look-alike, of the sons of men. So here's a man that looks like a man. He's not a man. He's a similitude. He's an angel. They're all through the Bible. They look like angels. And what's an angel there? He has no wings. He's a male. He's not coming in your toast. He's not coming with long blonde hair and a, as a female figure. And he don't have the wings. The Hebrew said, beware you can entertain angels unaware. If a guy came up to me and had wings, I think I'd know something. And I have things in my life where it was a woman. I'm like, well, angel, angels are men. I have no idea what just happened there. But angels are men. Touch my lips. Like Ezekiel. You see how all these run together? The Bible runs together. If that preacher's message don't run together with 66 books, it ain't right. Then I opened my mouth and spanked. So he's no more dumb. It said unto him that stood before me. Now I don't know, because it says small L Lord. I don't know if that's the angel or Jesus. Oh my Lord, by the vision my sorrows are turned upon me. Now, we early in this chapter it said, um, Daniel and Verse 2 it says he's mourning. Now we have no idea what the mourning is, and is this a continuation of the mourning or <clears throat> but he says the sorrows have turned upon me, it's almost like a new one. Or the mourning and the sorrows came and went. And I have retained no strength. I can't do nothing. It's almost like you've gone into the hospital and you've had surgery and, and they say, all right, physical therapy says, we're going to help you walk. Oh, no problem. You get out of that bed and you're a sack of potatoes. You, know, you fall into that chair like, uh, I can't walk. I know you haven't, you haven't walked in two weeks. I had that with the neuropathy. i got to learn how to write and do things again and I'm getting worse. This is Daniel. I wish Christians had no strength to, to pick up their, their cell phones, but rather pick up the strength to go talk to God in prayer rather than their cell phones. I can imagine in heaven, the modern Christians will be up there. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm looking at my hand all the time. What was this? About? For now, for how can the servant of this my Lord talk with this my Lord. How can the servant, that's Daniel, of this my Lord, right, there's two men in there, one of them is Jesus, with this my Lord. He's calling both men Lord. Small L. What? I don't know. 
For as for me, Daniel, straightway there remain no strength in me. I, I can't. I, I can't even pick up that writer's inkhorn to write down what's going on. I can't go for a walk. <laughs> I had no energy. I had no strength. Neither is there any breath left in me. He's breathless. Remember now, it does not say sleep or deep sleep. So Daniel did not die. We were talking about last night. Possibility Daniel died, wasn't buried, but he was resurrected. You can't say Daniel died again. There's no breath in him. I've had that feeling. I've had that event. Right here in my house, right in my bedroom. I could not breathe. I was in the hospital a couple times. And I forget what rooms I were. I was screaming for breath. I had it one time. I don't even know my, I think it was just my son. My wife and I, one children, I don't know. We were somewhere in New London. We were in the parking garage. We were walking to go get the car. We were going to go home or something. And I passed out. My wife told me I passed out on the hood of the car. Why? I lost my breath. That's when I found out I got emphysema with COPD and blah, 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 blah. But I didn't die. There's a difference. You see how the Holy Spirit in the Bible. Daniel had a deep sleep. Run the references. What is the deep sleep? Did Adam die? I am not going to say yes, and I'm not going to say no. I'm going to say a possibility. Don't, don't hold me to it. Did Daniel die here? There's no sleep, and there's no deep sleep. He's breathless. So what's the expression in the world? He took my breath away. That comes out of a King James 1611 Bible. Let's see. And again, I'm sorry, Facebook, you can't see this. Let's come over here. Bible, Bible Gateway. Uh, I gotta put my picture down here. Say bye. Where am I? Alright, so we want Daniel 10. My breath away. My breath away. Verse 17. Okay. Daniel 10 17. Let's do all the English versions. So, ASV, no breath left in me. My breath is gone. I can't hardly breathe. You know, they have the, the D R A M A Bible. Say, so what's that? The drama. And so they're pretty much, they're all, I can't breathe. You might see my Excel open up. So we're back over here. I'm still not up. Alright, anyway. So pretty much, I mean, the other Bibles, but you've taken my breath away. That comes out of the King James Bible. Bible. Then there came again and touched me one like the appearance of a man. The same guy? Or did another one come? And he touched me. And he touched me. Better be careful. It may not be Jesus that touched you. Behold, Satan is an angel of light. Give me a little warning. For as for me, Daniel, straightway there remained no strength in me. There was no breath in me. And there came again, again, so maybe the same one, and touched me like the appearance of a man. And he strengthened me. If this is an angel, look at the power of the angel. One angel. Come on, man, open that door. We won't have sex with those guys. You're blind. 
The angel of the Lord is standing in front of an entire army. He just wipes, wipes them out. Leaves it enough to wake up in the morning. Hey, Joe. Joe. Joe's dead. So is Phil. So is Mike. You don't want to mess with an angel. And that's a created being by God which you don't want to mess with. That's the God that said, Red Sea, open up. Let my people through. But make it dry ground. That's the power of God. I read today, I read this the headline, scientists know or get to the thing, know what you're going to see as you die. Oh, shut up. I know what I'm going to see. I'm going to, see, I'm going to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. If you're unsaved, you're going to wake up in hell. That's what's going to happen. Anything else, it's just Satan deceiving your world. And said, O oh man, greatly beloved, greatly beloved, you better watch how you sing Dare to be a Daniel because in this modern age, you be you would be Dare to be a jellyfish. Because I can't talk about Jesus at the family reunion because Aunt Betsy's who's rich, she will get mad at me. I had an aunt in Mississippi. She was rich. Money went to her cats. But, I mean, she got mad at me because I sent her a letter about Jesus. And that side of the family was supposedly Baptist. And I heard that one of my uncles, up my dad, or one of my aunts, married a, who was a preacher. They got, this is the same members of my family got mad at me. Because I preached the truth. Daniel is greatly beloved. Fear not. And there's that expression again. Peace be unto thee. Now, where have you heard that one? Those are the words of Jesus. <laughs> All right, who this person is, I'm quite confused now. Is it an angel or is it Jesus? And you can tell by this by what is written by the Holy. They didn't have a name tag. Hello, my name is Gabriel. Hello, my name is Michael. Hello, my name is Jesus. That'd be too simple. That would be nice. Wouldn't it be great, Danny said, here comes this man walking up to me and he had a badge and said, Hi, I'm from the Isn't Baptist Church and I am Usher Jesus. Yeah, that's what a lot of Baptist churches they would put Jesus as the Usher rather than the preacher. Oh, well, that, oh, that hurt. Oh, that was a kick in the shit. Yeah, I know. Because I know some preachers there, they're elevated. Sorry, I had to throw that in there. That didn't cost you nothing. So, now watch this. Peace be unto you. Be strong. This is a guy who just had no strength. But he strengthened me in 18. When you ain't got no strength and the Lord strengthens you, you can be strong. And I don't mean body weights and I don't mean sports. You can go do what God wants you to do. Yay, be strong. That's a repeat. You know, Jesus repeated a lot of things that were important. <coughs> barely, barely. How many different times it showed up in the four gospels? I'm going to say, but you can throw this in the garbage can again. I'm going to say that 19, that's Jesus speaking to, to Daniel. A man is greatly beloved. I have no strength. I couldn't even talk. You came, you made me talk. Who in the Bible helped people to talk? Jesus. What people came to them sick and weary and, and, and just weak. The man was at that pool, a chalan. He couldn't even roll himself in the water. Somebody would go up and over him. Jesus came and healed him. You see, now look, Daniel, we've got Jesus and we got the Gospels. Let me tell you something. This I know. The Pharisees, by the Old Testament Scriptures and Paul, 
knew exactly who Jesus was. They didn't want to receive it. Yea, be strong. And when he spoke, spoken unto me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for thou hast strengthened me. Then he then said he. Now why couldn't you? Why couldn't it? Then Jesus said, or Michael said, or knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? Well, he was just told him he came to give him understanding. It took twenty-one days. We're back to that verse again. Because look, and now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia? Hey, listen, you know it took me twenty-one days down here. I fought with the prince. Michael showed up. You lost your strength. You couldn't say nothing. I strengthen you. I give you the power. I'm telling you to be strong. I gotta fight that bug on the way back. Somebody does not want me in heaven. When you say, when did the devil try that? Lock him in that tomb. Because he ain't coming out. Listen. You know, you know why the devil put that rock in front of that thing? Because the devil didn't believe Jesus would come out. I'm telling you, that's what I think. The world said put a rock on it and put a seal because those apostles are going to come along and they're going to steal that. But no, it's not that it's not that Jesus is going to come out of that tomb. The apostles are going to come and people in the devil's like, go ahead, yeah. All right, so I'm going to fight with the prince of Persia. I mean, forget the movies. I wonder if the Bible is going to be played out somehow in Bible. I mean, heaven in Bible too. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not. I mean, he just, can you just imagine all these churches, they have these weird and ungodly movie nights. And they get upset because they go to see a movie, and a woman's boobies show up and all that. They go, oh! I, I, love, the, I love the time, well, way back when, when I, I just left football. And the, the churches, they, they get all these big screen television, and we're going to have a Super, night, Super Bowl night at the church. And they went up there and they got the Super Bowl play, and they're just having a good time. And it came to halftime show, and Janet Jackson's booby came out. Oh, they got all. I'm like, why'd you guys watch that in the first place? Well, what were you doing? Well, I didn't go to church because they were having a Super Bowl. I was at home reading my Bible. Imagine if we do get to heaven, and Jesus, all right, everyone in this room. Oh, what's this room? No, Paul, you can't go in here. Well, why not? Don't you know the Bible says you can't go into the theater? Oh, come on, Jesus. Knock it off. Goes and sit down. We even get popcorn, maybe. I don't know. Corn in the Bible? <laughs> it's not the Indian corn, but it, it, it's... And he mentioned, all right, everyone, we're going we're gonna to watch the Bible played out. Will the following characters please come up? Elijah, Elijah, the great woman of Shanua. Wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't it be interesting if we go into a mansion, we're sitting there, wow, oh, what's going to happen here? You know, Paul, I wasn't as good as you, but, you know, I, I went out there witnessed that. That was great. I see, you know, you got crowns, and he did, you know, hey, great, and, you know, where's Peter? And, yeah, he's over there. Oh, how much pain did you get? All right, light's coming. Oh, sorry, Paul, it's going to start. What, what is this tonight? Why are all the scholars sitting up front? Look at all the smart pants up there. Oh, we're gonna have we're gonna have Jonah give the whole. Whoa, is that why we're sitting way? To, yeah, we're sitting way in the back because we believe the story. Jonah, they're sitting up front because they didn't believe it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. What's that smell? Oh, that's the whale. Whoa, this is gonna be good. Jesus, can we have some popcorn? Then we're gonna have some bread. That's even better. Wouldn't it be interesting? I tell people, you better get ready for their test. They say, what's that? The Bible says study. The modern Bibles don't say study. I'm rambling on. Where was that? So you're going to fight the Prince of Persia again. You know the devil never learned? 
He's locked for a thousand years, chained. He's released. Come on, army, let's go get him. You would figure the first time the devil puts him in chain, I mean, God puts the devil in chain. Uh, you would think he would come out of prison on his knees. Jesus, forgive me, please. I'm, I'm really, I'm just, no. Because the lost man never learns. Sometimes Christians. And when I am gone forth, when I'm by, I see you, lo, the prince of Grecia shall come. Now we got two princes coming up that are going to cause them trouble. But I will show thee this angel, it could be Jesus, that which is noted in the scripture of truth, you can't find that in the modern Bible. I'm going to say, let's check that one out. I think I got rid of it. Gateway. Right, let's check that one. I gotta get rid of this one. All right, so Daniel ten, Scripture of True, twenty one. Okay, we want all the English versions. All right, ASV, written of truth. Amplified, written of truth. Uh, CEV, the book of truth. ESV, the book of truth. That uh, was another good one. The Living Bible. The book of the future. Uh, NASB. Writing of truth. NIV, Book of Truth. And it's on and on. RSV, the Book of Truth. What's the New King James say? Uh, where is it? New. The Scripture of Truth, all right? You guys A book is not Scripture. Where it was. Because it doesn't have to be a book to be scripture. The Bible says that uh, Jeremiah said, and he didn't, he didn't write it down, he said it. Scripture of truth, King James Bible has scripture of truth. All the other ones have the words of truth, the book of truth. The book, there are 66 books. And there is none that holdeth with me in these things. There's no one else that stands by me when I'm going to tell you, Daniel. When Paul came to the end of his life, demons has forsaken me. I sent him off. I sent him off. Only Luke is with me. And why is Luke with him? All right, Paul, pill time. Open your mouth. <laughs> When Jesus is on the cross, as far as man or men, it's only one, John, the beloved disciple at the cross. But watch this. There's none that holdeth with me in these things. All right. Now what? But Michael, your prince. There's one that stands with me, Daniel. <clears throat> Michael. Oh, that's a great. Michael. We know that, right? Holy Spirit, couldn't you tell me who the guy was talking? Couldn't you tell us it was Jesus? No, no, no. But, <coughs> Michael. Michael understands Jesus, or the angel. And he's going to help me. You get the truth. For your people. Now listen, we've come to the end of chapter 10. we got 11 and 12. It gets even better. It, and this is all prophecy, and we're going to look at verse 
chapter 11, we're going to look at the tribulation period and all. How many times have you seen Christian or the church age show up? It ain't about us. And Daniel parallels with the Bible after Revelation 4 to Revelation 19. Where is the church? It's gone. They're mad at Daniel. They put Daniel in another part. He should be with the prophets. He's not with the prophets. Why is he in the writings where he's at? Because he speaks too much about the Gentiles. Brother, chapter 10, 11, 12, and 9. Whoo, that's Jewish. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a worker that needs not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the words of Look at verse 21. There you go. 